Our primary objective is to do research that makes a difference, improves the quality and the quantity of life in the places where we work and hopefully beyond. In the particular area of malaria, it's been quite a busy year. Um, so November last year saw the uh, publication of the largest ever trial in severe malaria, which established that given to children in Africa, latesunate, which was the combination treatment, substantially reduced mortality. That, I think, sealed uh, the, the deal, so to speak, uh, that, that artesunate was the best drug for severe malaria. So that was the largest ever trial. It was in over 5,300 children, uh, 11 centres, nine countries, a huge logistic exercise, all orchestrated uh, from the unit in Bangkok. Um, a wonderful collaborative effort and resulted very quickly in a change in global policy. So now artesunate is the drug of choice and if you get malaria, even here in Oxford, you should get artesunate. I first learnt about uh, artemisinin, which is called Jinghao Su in Chinese, in 1981. Um, and I have to say that the bottles that it was in, in those days, it has a little uh, green label, which it was obviously handwritten and fell off, and you could cut your fingers opening the top of the bottle. So it didn't look uh, particularly appealing, um, but the claims made for it were, were certainly uh, very exciting. There was considerable resistance for about two decades, in fact. Politics was, was a big factor. I don't think the West wanted to entertain the possibility of a, of a Chinese drug as, a, as the best drug of all. And this, I think, came to a head in about 2004 with the publication of a, an incendiary paper in, in The Lancet, which effectively accused uh, the World Health Organization of medical malpractice. It caused a lot of upset, but I have to say I think it was the tipping point. And within a year, uh, all these international agencies had switched and said they would no longer support the ineffective drugs and they would now support effective treatment. And, and we've seen real advances, um, but as always, there's a sting in the tail. And that sting is uh, the emergence of artemisinin resistance in Western Cambodia. What needs to be done to halt or limit the spread of artemisinin resistance right now? Um, in my opinion, the most important thing is for the main supporters of malaria control in the world to come up with a single coherent plan. Because I see the future of international health as being genuinely uh, international.